Shului of the Rain vs Zoro, the strongest swordsman. Hi everyone, Flying Panda. Many people have said that Zoro would not fight Mihawk for the title of the world's strongest swordsman, and I somewhat agree. After all, Mihawk has trained Zoro, and I think it wouldn't be epic for Zoro to take the world's strongest title from the man who trained him. The two pirate crews that will face off to one another at the end of One Piece will be the Straw Hats vs Blackbeard Pirates, and what better way for Zoro to face off with another strong swordsman in the form of Shului. While we do not have feats or powers from Shului, he was hyped up to be equal to Magellan. Zoro has faced off with swordsmen in the past, so this fight will happen. Blackbeard will be the one challenging Luffy for the Pirate King, which means their crews will also be the best of the best. Luffy has someone who dreams of being the greatest swordsman in the world. Blackbeard will have someone a step better, so that Zoro must overcome him. Julie will most likely train just as hard as Zoro, go through challenges just like he does and maybe one step better, defeating Mihawk. And whether he defeats Mihawk, fair and swear or not, he will end up gaining the fury of Zoro who lost the chance to defeat his mentor and friend himself to gain his title. In my previous video, I explained that Zoro will face up with the strongest bounty hunter in the world in the form of Admiral Green Bull, and for Zoro to increase his reputation further would be difficult even against Shului, unless he was to involve, for example, in the Death Fruit. After Blackbeard became his uncle, the Blackbeard Pirates started hunting down powerful Death Fruit users in order to absorb their abilities. Shului was assigned to be the captain of the Blackbeard Pirates and fleet, while his fellow crew members Jesus Burgess and Lefet were also promoted to be captains of their own division. Let's look at his backstory to see is he worthy of being the final opponent of Zoro. Shuli of the Rain was the head jailer of Impel Dan until he was imprisoned for his excessive violence towards the prisoners. Though the guards of Impel Dan had permission to kill prisoners for security reasons, Shuli heavily abused that privilege by killing many prisoners for his own pleasure. When confronted by Magellan, Shuli's abuse of his privilege was revealed and he was deemed to be a menace. For that, he was sentenced to death and put on death row in level 6. As level 6 prisoners' crimes are deemed too dangerous or embarrassed to be made public, Shuloi's crimes were not heard of by most prisoners, despite that brutality. Shuloi is apparently very deceitful and treacherous by nature as he offered to help Magellan fight for the prison if released, but instead of betraying his former superior, killing and wrecked havoc. However, Magellan did refuse to retract Shuloi's death penalty no matter what giving him very little choice outside of betrayal to escape it. He has since become a loyal member of Blackbeard Pirates, so he is a high ranking member of Blackbeard Pirates, so is that enough to be counted for if Zoro beats him? What influenced me in the next part is from Beck's theory. Right now, as we all know, the Blackbeard Pirates are hunting Death Fruit users to strengthen their power. One of the possible Death Fruits hunt by the Blackbeard Pirates is the one currently owned by Diamond Jozu from the Whitebeard Pirates. Diamond Devil Fruit. The most worthy of using this power would be Shuloi of the Rain, the swordsman in the Blackbeard Pirates. The reason I believe this was when I was just rereading Zoro vs Mr. One, I noticed some possible foreshadowing at the end of the fight. Mr. One asked Zoro if next time he's gonna cut through diamonds. I love foreshadows, as you know. Now I believe it's possible, even though Mihawk didn't cut Jozu, I also assume it's because he didn't put Haki into the attack, which is why he didn't hit him. But obviously, it's only through the use of Coat of Armament that you can cut diamonds because if Miho couldn't without Haki, then no other swordsman can either. But I think Zoro will eventually be able to cut diamond, though not anytime soon, but eventually. But I don't think he's gonna do it by cutting Jozu since the Straw Hats and White Beard Pirates are allies. Diamond is of the hardest material in the world. This is the perfect death fruit to be held by a swordsman. If it were to be clad with iron and haki, it would make it seem impossible for anyone to penetrate or cut it. Zoro has drastically improved so much over the years, he could even cut the whole ship in half. So here's my question, can Zoro cut diamond? We all know that Zoro showed off the skill to cut steel in the alabaster arc and he's just cut stone with Pika. Let's just say, if Zoro ever fought Jozu, who do you think would be the victor? I think Zoro will pull it off eventually and be able to cut Shuloi if they fight, just like what happened in Alabasta Mr. One. I believe Shuloi will defeat Mihawk to own the title of Strongest Swordsman, and the final fight would be Zoro vs Shuloi. 
by defeating and penetrating or cutting through the armor, will make Zoro the strongest and first swordsman to ever cut through diamond. When Mr. One asked Zoro would he cut diamond next, Zoro responded with, there's no point. Well, this is a good reason now to cut diamond to be number one. What do you think of this video? Please leave a comment down below. Please click like and if you haven't, please subscribe to Flying Panda.